So yeah, man, we um yeah, we took a brief intermission, but getting back to it. So he said, so with ball of fall, y'all y'all was definitely oh, y'all was, was doing y'all thing. Y'all was balling. Cut up in Houston. Houston will never forget selling with a fam game. Fam girls too. It's a whole entourage, y'all. Collective, uh, um, so we cut up out there, bro. Man, you mentioned that. Can you, if you can bring us back up to speed with everything, so they, they you asked for forty, they hit you. One brother 20. gave me twenty, and the other brother gave me twenty. Like so, they was like, kind of separate on the way they did business. At, at this point in time, were you still doing okay financially before you got that paper? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was hustling. That, that's why that shit was like a bonus. I was. I was up. Like I'm telling you, this shit happened so fast. Keep in mind, like I didn't want to go to the studio because I was on the pot. I was hustling. So I ain't won't really hear none of that shit Lou was talking about. Like, it blew my partner, but I just wasn't in rap mode at that time. But when he told me to come over there and they were serious and he told me who it was, I remembered them. So I said I was going to check it out. But that shit happened within a week. Bro. So prior to that, is this on a like a major scale? Are you juggling with a, with a nine nah, to five? I ain't on like, no uh, major. Yeah, I wasn't on no major scale. Loss, man. I just was probably selling weed like weed. Not nothing heavy though. And, and around that time, what's the strains that you had your hands on? Oh no, like this was Reggie. I didn't get I didn't get to that granddaddy shit until I met them. Oh, well, bring us so back up the speed. Baller, all right, okay. so oh, yeah. Ball of Fall, remember that I'm telling you, I was in a project. I was probably I was selling nickel bags and shit, something like that. I'm probably selling pounds of Reggie and shit like that, getting my hands on the little things. But um once I got with Ball of Fall lads and no, you know what? Because I got with Ball of Fall like right before the hurricane. So I was really dealing with Reggie. I was doing a lot of Reggie shit. I had, they had people who had good and shit, but I wasn't really dealing with no good, no good, good weed. I was dealing with Reggie. So once I met Ball of Fall, I went to Houston for two weeks, did music and shit. That's when I did all the records. And then the other brother flew, flew me out to um, Cali. When I got to Cali, it was a farm. What, what part of Cali are we talking about? Is this Northern Cali or Southern Cali? Mendocino, I want to say. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm I thinking think right it's Mendo. I don't know. I okay. think I think the the, the 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 spot is called Mendocino, but he was in Frisco, but he had it. So he in the Bay Area. Yeah, he was in the Bay. That's where he was at. But he had a spot in Mendocino too. That's where he was growing shit at, though, because he was a grower. So when I get down there and I start recording records and shit like that, um, remember I was telling you like they give me a month beside them giving me that bread. They was getting me a monthly, like $500 a month until I got through with the album. So he was letting us smoke all the weed we wanted. It's me and my little partner Cash from Fam Gang because I brought, got him down there with me. Like, he be smoking all the weed we want, right, while I'm recording. So when we get ready to leave, I just tell them I don't want because it's coming down to my time for to get the $500 for the, for the monthly, right? I'm like, I don't want the five. How much them ounces cost? One day I just asked, how much they cost? Like two fifty. dollars I said, shit, I don't, you ain't got to give me the 500, you can just give me two of them. He was like, all right. I put them in my pants and jumped on the plane. Oh, me and Cash. This is two, two ounces of what? Two ounces, this was granddaddy. Yes. Real deal, and this is when, this is this, early in the game. When it, What deal with the hurricane? That's 04, 05. All right, 05, so this is... Uh, I think your album came out in 06. No, so this is, <clears throat> I had not already signed with them. This like 04, this late 04. Late 04, early 05. Because I remember, remember, like, I didn't do records. Like, let's say I did, when I did them Pimp C records and all that kind of stuff, I had not already been signed with them like a year. Like, I, we wasn't just doing music. We just was doing a lot of traveling and all that kind of shit and promoting the company and shit. But I wasn't, we wasn't really doing no music. So when I get out there, I just I flew back with the um, with the granddad and just start giving it away, giving it to my partners and all that kind of stuff. But the name OG don't come from like me being the OG. That shit come from weed. That's why people was calling me OG so young. But that was because I was fucking with so because I was bringing that good ass weed down. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I'm thinking it's because you know you you full of wisdom and you over time that became that. Head. But when people first started calling me OG, it was because weed. Man, can I ask you, at that time, so this is after 9-11 and all of that, so I'm sure the TSA and all that is a little bit more vigilant of what's going on, and Bro, you still listen. made it through with them ounces like that. 
I don't know how. All I, I just like, no, you know what he did for me though? I'm tripping. He what you call him rap. <laughs> he he shrank rap. Oh, it still uh, smell though. Man, is that yeah, it still smell. Because he took care of me, shrink wrapped it, gave it to me, cut the sides off. I just put it in my pants. So, man, that's an exclusive then. So, the OG is because you was into the weed game. Mm -hmm. I was, that's all I really did my whole life, though. Like, especially in the project, like when it came to hustling, all I really fucked with was weed. Every night and then I dibble and dabble and something else, but everybody knew I was known for weed. Good shit, too. Did that interfere with you making the album? No, indeed. Like kind of juggling the two where at first mm -hmm. you just, just chiefing it and you said mm -hmm. giving it away. Uh, nah, like, I mean, you're first you're I was chiefing it. it. Even when I was hustling with it, hell no, that shit was, had me inspired. I was ready to do music then because shit was rocking and rolling. Like, you know, once I was in a good space, I, was, I wasn't really into music at the time of going through things and shit like that. Or I couldn't afford to leave the streets to go do music if it wasn't paying me. At that time, I could be in the streets and do music, and then I had partners and shit like. 